Morning. Morning, Ginge. How you doing, baby girl? You wagging that tail? Yeah. Well, she's kind of moved outside here. She's able to get up and get around a little bit better. She does have a comb because she wouldn't stop licking. All right. We are going to check the tractor out a little bit here. Hook the disc up. And then I'm eating... Mr. Welsh from Welsh Farms. He's gonna get some straw out of the loft. Uh, he's going to, a, he's got a booth set up and we're selling some hay and straw and promoting his channel a little bit. Uh, so I gotta, I'm gonna have to, I'm kinda pushing it, but I really wanna get this disc hooked up before I go. So I'm gonna check the oil, take the tractor over to the disc. Perfect. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right at the full mark. Look pretty good. I keep them dripping oil everywhere when I put it back in. All right, check the hydraulic shift as well. It's a lot harder to do with one hand, so I did it with two hands, no camera. It was good. So. all hooked up. We're going to unlock the transport. We have the tractor. Make sure all the hydraulics are correct. I think they are, but we'll see. This should be up, and it is. That's down. So that's good. Then this should be wings down. swap those all right everything's good we're heading right over here to this spot right here by the road the strip here I'm just gonna hit it for not even probably a whole pass but I'm gonna have to get going I'm gonna run it behind but try this out and see what's gonna look like. I'm hoping I can hoping everything works out really good with the wings down because I can cover more ground but if it's not I may have to wing hose pop out. We got her now though. Everything looks okay. run into this where it's like okay I'm gonna get this done and we'll be running right on time and then it takes longer than what you thought and you're not running on time you're just running yeah okay let's get up there morning 
Man, didn't time it quite right. I should have waited another 15 minutes, probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right, up I go. Mr. Welsh headed to sell some straw. We're gonna get back to work on some ground. My wife's family has started their harvest. We saw the other day. Uh, I don't know how much they got left. No, they started on corn. I don't know that they've done any beans yet. I think they're getting ready to. I see the header pulled out there. So uh, I'm sure they'll be starting on beans here shortly. My wife drove my truck yesterday while I was ripping. And I just saw something here. She brought some McDonald's home for me last night for supper. I didn't get one of these though. How do you like that? Try with the wings down first. See how she looks. It's not looking too bad. I want to do a pass with the wings up and see how that looks. Uh, I really want to work it down really good. So disking it once the first time with the wings up would save me, you know, two trips over with the wings down, and that would pay off. Uh, it just with the wings up. You're putting all your weight in a smaller area, so it cuts a lot better. First thing I'm doing is I'm going to disc the ends so it's not so rough when I'm turning around. I usually wait till last to disc the ends, but and I'll disc them again. But this keeps me from beating, banging around. It's easier on the front end of the track to see these big old quads. Just the ends to smooth them out. And I make two passes through the field. One with the wings down, one with the wings up. Wings down, wings up. So, uh, you will see there's much more residue left on the surface on th this pass than there was on this pass. So I'm leaning towards disking with the wings up first. It does leave a bit of a furrow, about like plowing actually. Um, but with as much as uh, material as I've left out here, it wouldn't be an issue if I had cut this before I sprayed it. The problem was I didn't have time to cut it and get it baled in time to get it worked up and plant. To be able to spray i didn't have time to cut it and bail it and then spray it and then let it die and then work it up and plant it so i had to bypass the cut the cutting part so we're just putting this organic matter back into the soil it'll help improve the soil a little bit but it makes it a little bit more difficult for working up for conventional tillage and planting so we're going to disc with the wings up the first pass hole then i'll hit it with the wings down maybe just one time will be good enough i don't know i might have to do it another time but I'm thinking wings up once then wings down and then I have some spots I need to hit again but I think that'll be good and then we'll roll it and plant it so if that's the case I think we'll have it all disc today as long as nothing happens that with the wings up, it would pull easier because there's less ground coverage. However, it is exponentially more difficult to go down than it is to go wide when you're tilling. So, since we're going so much deeper, managing that, that residue better, uh, it's much harder to pull with the wings up than it is with the wings down. Much harder. 
but we're pulling it pretty good. It's so windy out here. The things I do to make a YouTube video, guys. All right. Let's turn some soil. <sighs> Last pass right here in this area. All I got is this little bit over here. I'm done with this field. First pass at least. It's a little squirrely when it gets in this soft, squishy dirt up. races out see if we can get a bearing I don't know if that'll happen today it's Saturday it's like 2 2 30 in the afternoon I don't know if anybody will be open but it is what it is and uh, I the only thing I could find with my air the condensation stuff is maybe where my drain tube comes into the drain pan it's got some silicone around there maybe that's just has come loose or it's leaking there. That's the only place I can see that it would be leaking. Looks like Dad must have got 
got the races out of the love on the thrill wheel. be it yeah but if I do need to go over again I'm not gonna do that tonight I'm gonna let it sit for at least a day or so before I hit it again things are going pretty good. Here's working up pretty good. There's a little bit of a low spot, a little bit more moisture. You see a little bit more grass showing, but up here on the hill, uh, there's not much debris, which is what I want. I want as little debris on the surface as possible because uh, I'm going to roll this and whenever I plant it, we're not using a no-till or anything, so it's uh, it's got to be clean for it to do a good job. We want that seed to get to the soil. And when we roll it again, we're going to get that good seed to soil contact. If you got too much debris on top, then you don't get that. basically except for across the ditch uh, it's so dark now I'm leaving the tractor I'm gonna walk to the house I don't want to take the tractor down the road I got lights on the tractor but not the disc so even though it's only like 200 yards my luck as soon as I pull out some will run up behind me and they won't see me so better safe than sorry we're gonna walk to the house leave the tractor back here Good morning morning James I think she wants to come with me Kind of carrying that hind leg a little bit. It's a little stiff. Anyways, I'm headed back to the tractor. I'm gonna finish up disking before church this morning. And it's probably gonna be all the working I'll do today, ground working, whatever. Because I think it'll be ready, and I'm not gonna roll it till I get ready to plant because I don't want to roll it and then it come rain, then I gotta work it up again. And and I roll it for no reason. So we're gonna just kind of hold off on that until we get the drill bearings, get it fixed and get it here. All right, we're headed across the ditch. 
Alright guys, it's Sunday, I got everything disced, uh, I'm working on this here, I did disc this at the very beginning with the wings down, if you recall, I'm, gonna, I'm disking with the wings up now, you can see one pass here with the wings up, uh, down and back, and you can see it really manages the residue way better, this compared to this, uh, but there are some piles out here. While I was disking, my dad went through and just kind of picked out some roots and stuff. <clears throat> this was a little background on this piece here. This is actually a big fence row. And it was growing out in trees probably half this distance of the dirt here. And the township had a new piece of equipment they were wanting to test out, a brush cut, a uh, heavy duty brush cutter for the skid steer. So they tried it out and uh, then I told them just go ahead and take the whole thing out if they want to. So they did that and they had a dozer and their, their backhoe out here and they cut the trees and I kept some of the logs for firewood and stuff and then they cleaned everything else up with what they didn't get burned. They hauled out. So it worked out really good, but ripping this really brought up a lot of these roots and stuff. So cleaning them up, once I get these piles picked up, well, uh, it, it won't take but 10 minutes to disc this probably. basically up to my wrist so whatever that is it's probably eight inches actually so essentially we're basically like plowing I figure that probably would be about eight inches because these are actually 22 inch blades so we're 11 inches to the hub here to the center of the hub center of the wheel so we take three inches off that we're probably looking like right in here Looking at probably six to eight inches of what we're cutting. Uh, I don't really want to always cut that deep, but what I do want is to manage the residue we have on the surface. And that's the best way we have to do it. Moldboard plow is the best way to manage the residue, but it's slow. And uh, my personal least favorite thing about the moldboard plow is you leave a dead furrow. Uh, I guess there's a way to go back and plow it in. I don't know, but I don't want that ditch running through my field, you know. 
seed bed I say fluffy fluffy is not really what you want but we're gonna have to go over that with the roller it'll pack it down then we'll drill it and we'll roll it again do away with a little bit of that fluff but we're done disking for now it's a chance of rain tonight which is why I was wanting to get planted today but with the bearing out on the on the on the drill that's not gonna happen so I'm not disking anymore it's probably gonna rain hopefully it's not going to rain too much, and then uh, the next rain after that is not till I think next next weekend. This is Sunday, so we got four or five days between rains. I'll be able to get it uh, dried up and hashed out by then. Fix it, Cade. There you go. Cade's fixing. We got everything cleaned up, all the roots and stuff picked up out by the road, got it disc down, it's really nice. Uh, put the tractors inside, skid steer inside, the baler's bin inside. Uh, got everything inside that I could fit. Open for not too much rain. A little bit of rain really isn't gonna hurt too much. I'll catch back up with you tomorrow. I'll let you know how much it rains. And uh, we'll see if we can get that drill fixed and get some seed in the ground. Anyways, have a good night. Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless America. Franklin County Forge out.